Hey, long time no see. It's been about a month, has it? Well, I think it's about time that we, we talk about what happened over this past month. Why don't we roll the intro? Welcome back to the Scrapman channel. Today is going to be a video about where I've been and why I've been gone. Uh, some of you who follow me on Twitter, who are following me on Discord, uh, you already know what's been happening. I've been keeping you guys updated. The rest of you, I've had no way to stay in contact with you guys. But basically what happened is uh, I fell victim to an email phishing scam, which instantly deleted my entire channel outright. Just completely gone. Nothing I could do about it. It was just done. Um, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how that happened, what exactly happened, and what I had to deal with this entire month to get the channel back. Uh, some of you may know if you watch my channel regularly, I literally had just moved into a new place, my own place finally, uh, with a new office and everything. And about, I think three days later, my entire channel got deleted. So it's been quite a ride uh, trying to settle into a new place when your entire income, like 99% of your income just gets uh, taken away just like that. Uh, I'm not out of the woods yet. I do have the channel back fortunately, but there's still some issues that are unresolved. All right, so let's just jump into it. I'm going to tell you what happened and what the plan is for the future of the channel. All right, so let's get into the story of how I exactly fell for a phishing scam. Now, I'm no stranger to phishing scams. Honestly, I get emails all the time that are clearly scams. It's just they're usually really, really bad. Like, really bad. Like, grammar is just everywhere. Nothing makes any sense, and it doesn't even apply to me. It's like, Oh, we noticed you took a survey recently on YouTube and we want to follow up with you. Click here. And I'm like, I didn't take a survey recently and you're spelled all that wrong and it doesn't make any sense. And there's like some copyright claim ones going around. And uh, one, of the, one of the lines on the copyright claim is, how can this happen? Which is just a big red flag there. You know, YouTube would probably be a little bit better. But the one that I got presented with, um, I had just broken 90,000 subscribers. I've been doing YouTube full time, daily videos for a while now. So I was just, I was just making a lot of good progress on the YouTube channel. And this email made a lot of sense to me. And this is what I was presented with. Hi, Scrapman. Congratulations. Your channel is now eligible for the verification mark from YouTube. Get started. Uh, and it's got the comments are managed, but because it, it just, no, there was nothing wrong with this email. It looks legit. This is this is what I would expect to see from YouTube. Now, one red flag I should have noticed is that this is the old YouTube logo, but to be honest, I'm not even used to the new one yet. I forgot that they even really had a new one. So the reason I actually fell for this was because there was a perfect storm of a lot of different things that just put my guard down for just a minute. And I mean just a minute, because after I did this, after I interacted with this email, I was like, that didn't feel right. And I checked. And I was like, you know, I'm going to change my passwords. But here's what happened. I had just woken up in bed, literally just woke up in bed, checked my phone, saw a YouTube email. I'm like, oh, what's this? Congratulations. Channel is uh, ready to be verified. I'm like, hey, that makes sense. I've been making a lot of good progress on the channel. I've been getting a lot of subscribers, just broke 90,000 subscribers. It's not a big deal or anything. It's not like it's not like an outlandish claim that's suspicious. It's just eh, it's a verification mark, whatever. So I'm on my phone, so on the mobile, you see a more limited kind of view. It doesn't show you all the details. It just shows you the email itself. Um, so I had my guard down. I was a little bit tired. I've clicked on it and uh, it asked me to, yeah, oh, is are you the owner of the channel? And I verify that I'm the owner of the channel by logging into the channel. And this is where I really should have had my guard up was when it asked me for my uh, verification for the two-factor authorization. Cause I did have two-factor authorization enabled, but in my sleepy state of mind on my phone, I was thinking this is YouTube I'm talking to and they want to verify me. That was not the case. I logged, I punched in the information and immediately after I punched in the information, I was like, wait a minute, that didn't feel right. I started waking up a little bit, becoming a little bit more aware. And then I go to check the email and I see this. YouTube verified at Proton Mail. So I was like, that makes me feel really weird now. I'm going to get up out of bed, turn on my computer, change all my passwords, just in case. So I change my passwords, everything is good, whatever. And then I go to check my channel stats, and it's like, no videos. Like, why don't I have any videos? <laughs> What's going on here? And I realized that my entire channel is gone. 
like I search in YouTube, it's not there. I go to my channel page, it says this channel does not exist. I look at my stats, it says zero, there's nothing there. And then I realize that I'm not even, lo when I'm logged into YouTube, it's not my channel. This is a different channel. I've been assigned a new channel. The URL is different. My entire channel is gone. So I had recently just moved into this place on a full-time YouTube income supporting my wife and my two dogs. And uh, now 99% of my income was instantly gone in five minutes. Just a momentary lapse in judgment has just destroyed my entire livelihood and threatened uh, the basic needs of me and my wife and my dogs. And I was like, this can't, like, I'm just gonna, all right, I gotta do everything I can right now. I uh, go on Twitter, I email YouTube on any email contact I can get from um, other YouTuber, other YouTuber friends of mine gave me some email contacts. I contacted creator support. Um, I went to the Google forums and typed a post in on there and just everything I could possibly do. And I got a lot of help from Twitter. People were retweeting my tweets. We had like Dragas and Blitz and Ctop and all of them. Uh, a lot of people helped me out. So thank you guys so much for that. Those are YouTubers that are a lot bigger than me. So it was a big help to get that exposure to try to get YouTube's attention, which I did get their attention. So I was like, okay, in a few hours, I'm gonna know, is my channel done forever or are they gonna be able to resolve this? Am I gonna be able to get my channel back? I figured they'll let me know in a few hours after they figure out who I am and what's going on. <laughs> so I wait and uh, YouTube sends me to some, you know, troubleshooting pages that just don't apply to me whatsoever. Uh, so that wasn't very helpful. And then I finally got a response from, e from the YouTube email and uh, they said that they are investigating the issue and they're gonna get back to me with an update. So then like a couple of days goes by and I'm like, I just missed an entire weekend of revenue. This is not acceptable. I need, either, I need to either know whether I have to start over or know whether I'm gonna get my channel back because right now I don't know what to do. So I wait for an answer, expecting that I'm gonna get one like any day now. And I keep badgering them with emails and every single time I get a response saying, we're investigating the issue. We'll circle back with an update as soon as possible. We thank you for your patience in the meantime, which is basically a way of telling me just, just don't bother us until we bother you. Um, but of course, I'm not gonna just sit back and let my career uh, just go down the drain. I'm, if I don't get an update every day, I'm gonna keep sending some emails. And uh, literally a month goes by of the same exact thing going back and forth, just, hey, any updates on the thing? And them saying, where our team is investigating. We'll be back to you with an update. Uh, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna start a new channel anyway. You know, I Googled channel deletion issues and I found nothing encouraging. Everything said, if you delete your channel from the channel page, it's permanent, there's no recovering it. And that's as far as I know, when I gave them the login information, my identity to my channel, they deleted it from the inside as if I was the one doing it. So everything I was Googling pretty much said my channel is permanently deleted. So I didn't have a lot of faith that anything was go going to go my way. So I was like, all right, creating a new channel. I uploaded 400 videos almost in a month. I exceeded my one terabyte data limit. So that's going to cost me extra for that month. Um, which is great. Hey, you're not making any money anymore. How about, uh, how about you spend more money than you would have normally spent on internet? So then I went to monetize that channel on AdSense. And normally you should only be able to have one AdSense account and then multiple channels will be attached to that account. So as soon as I went to add that channel to AdSense, I was presented with a blank AdSense account with the same login information as what my old AdSense account would have been. But this AdSense account didn't have any of my payment history. It didn't even have the record of the money I was owed that I already made before the channel was deleted, which was an entire month of September, was gone. I had no way to log back into the old account. It was just like the account had been overwritten and replaced with a new account. And I'm like, I better not have lost an entire month's worth of revenue that I need to sustain myself while I recover from whatever damage is happening here. And uh, that is exactly what seems to have happened. I still haven't actually gotten paid, by the way, for uh, September, the AdSense issue is not resolved. I mentioned before that uh, the channel is back, but there are still some issues that are in the works right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna be getting that revenue from September, which is, is pretty crucial for me right now. So now I have to email YouTube who has not resolved the channel issue at this point yet with, hey, by the way, my AdSense account is also gone. Can you get that back as well? To which they respond, we are currently investigating the issue Please uh, be patient while, while we circle back with an update. And I'm like, oh boy, uh, 
I can't wait another month to get paid for sure. I have rent now that I have to deal with. So that just added an insult to injury there. Uh, made me panic a little bit more. Uh, now my wife is applying for jobs and uh, I'm freaking out. Like now I can't even start a second channel and try to recover because I don't know what's going on with AdSense. I, I need AdSense to, in order to make money. And without that, I got nothing. So I have no backup plan now. I can't even do a backup channel. So in a second, I'm gonna get to how my channel, what happened when my channel actually got restored. But at this point, the only thing really holding me together was the support of the fans, of you guys. The support that you guys showed on Twitter, on Discord, saying how much you missed my videos, how much you missed the channel, and how much you can't wait for me to come back. That really kept me motivated to just, you know what, I'm just gonna bear with this. I'm coming back, I'm gonna, no matter what happens, I'm gonna get back to this, because I have awesome fans, awesome community that supports me and uh, wants to see me back and I want to be back for them. You know, I had some awesome people. The, the Patreon support was amazing. I never expected, I never asked for any donations or anything despite the financial situation. But without that, a lot of you guys volunteered to add some amazing support onto Patreon, which helped so much and is helping so much considering that, you know, there's still a lot of issues going on. So I really want to thank the Patreon supporters for that. And I really, I want to start revamping the rewards because I feel like I need, I want to do more for the Patreon support. I want to make it, uh, I want to make it something really special for you guys, but I just don't know what to do yet. So, um, if you guys have any, any, uh, any suggestions on Patreon rewards, even if you're not a member of Patreon, what would make it more appealing to you? Cause I, I really do want to show my appreciation to the support I got. And in addition to that, I also want to thank uh, the Scrap Mechanic developers um, and the Trailmaker develop developers because they were the, uh, out of out of all the games I played on the channel, those were the only two developers that actually reached out and uh, asked how I was doing and asked if I was okay. So thank you guys so much for showing your concern. And um, extra shout out to the Trailmakers developers. Uh, they, they told me I didn't have to say anything, but they actually did also donate uh, into, into my situation. No strings attached whatsoever, but I think that they deserve at least some uh, recognition for their generosity. So I do appreciate the developers coming back and supporting the the players is in the community as well and the YouTubers. So uh, that is really appreciated. Thanks a lot. So now, how did the channel come back? Well, <laughs> All of these emails that I got that had like the same exact response, they were by somebody who will remain nameless. Every email is uh, tagged by somebody. Let's just call him John. So he here is the uh, <laughs> here's the gist of all the emails in the past month that I've been dealing with. I was pretty much like pouring my heart out saying, hey, um, the livelihood of me and my family is under threat right now. I don't know if I'm going to make it much longer. I really need an answer on whether my channel is going to be back or not. And then I get responses like, I totally understand your concern. Please do not worry. We are currently investigating your issue and I'll circle back with an update. Now this is on the 28th of October. Let me go back to the beginning. So this is on the 7th, two days after the channel deletion. This is after I given them the information that they needed in order to uh, get started on the investigation. Thanks for providing me the information. Please allow some time to work with specialists on the issue. I'll investigate further and we'll reach back to you with an update at the earliest possible. Let me know if you have any queries meanwhile. After 20 days of um, no updates, I get, we're currently investigating your issue and I'll circle back with an update after pleading like, hey, I can't really wait any longer. So that was just really frustrating to deal with. I didn't feel like I was being, um, I didn't feel like my concerns were actually being understood, even though they're telling me that they understand my concerns and especially telling me not to worry when I just kind of explained that I'm in like a, a worst case scenario situation here and not actually going 20 days without giving me a single update after saying that you're going to be giving me updates. It did not make me feel like uh, I was getting the support that I needed in this, in this situation. But then on November 1st, I get a different sounding email. And the, what was weird about this one is I never asked for it. Usually I have to say, hey, what's going on? Checking in and then I get a response. But this time, I got a response without actually bothering them, and it said this. Hey, I'm reaching out from the creator support team in regards to the question and your community thread you sent relating to the hijacked and deleted channel. So this seems like it's a separate response, not from the emails I've been sending, but from the, the support forum. So it was this sentence right here that really kind of just made me feel good and made me feel acknowledged, was I've reviewed the cases you have opened with us, and I see you've been through a lot. Yes, I've been through a lot. Thank you. Thank you for understanding that. 
So for us to see if we can recover the channel, we'll be asking for an email address where we can connect your channel to. So basically, I made the email address, I sent it to him, and then the next day, my channel is back. So I gotta say, um, Andrew here, <laughs> Andrew swoops in, asks for an email, and then the next day I get my channel back. So I don't know who you are, Andrew, but whatever you did to get things going here was amazing. Um, it was the first actual update. It was the first actual progress I saw after a month of just, we're investigating, we're investigating, we're investigating, be patient, be patient. <laughs> And now my channel is back. Uh, there's still some hiccups with it, obviously. For some reason, not all the videos show up uh, depending on how you view the channel. But I just want to thank Andrew for uh, doing whatever you did to actually uh, get the ball rolling on getting the channel back. It only took you one, one day from when you stepped in for this to happen. So now we're dealing with the AdSense issues, uh, trying to get my missed payments back and the revenue that I, um, that I earned so that I can sustain myself while my channel recovers. Cause right now I'm not getting any views. I haven't uploaded in a long time. Hopefully you guys watch this video. So as far as the future of the channel goes, uh, I'm pretty much going right back to normal. I'm gonna try to be getting in daily uploads. All the same content that you guys are used to, awesome creative games and uh, just silliness all around. I just cannot believe how big of a headache a five minute lapse in judgment has caused. Literally almost a life destroying mistake. I do have one bit of advice for YouTube though, uh, that could probably help avoid this ever happening to anyone ever again. And it's just put a grace period on channel deletion. I mean, Dropbox, if you delete a large amount of files in Dropbox at once, it sends you an email and says, we noticed you deleted a large amount of files in Dropbox. We aren't gonna get rid of these files just yet. If you ever wanna restore them, you have 30 days to do so before they're deleted permanently. You think with a YouTube channel and hundreds of videos and a literally an entire career and livelihood at stake, that a grace period on deleting an entire channel at once would be something that they might look into. But, um, not yet, apparently. So, YouTube, please. <laughs> these phishing scams exist. Some of them look pretty legit. I, I carry some responsibility for this. I was stupid enough not to look at the email and check uh, who sent it to me. And I'm embarrassed that it happened, to be quite honest. But I don't think a mistake like that deserves to have an entire uh, career just destroyed overnight. So please look into um, a grace period or other ways to get around this issue. Anyway, if you do really enjoy the channel and you're glad that it's back and you wanna um, support me in the recovery process, then I do have links to all that kind of stuff down below. There is the Patreon that has certain rewards and I'm looking for new ideas for rewards as well. You can also get your own Scrapman t-shirt on the merch link down below. And uh, please join the Discord, follow me on Twitter or something because if I don't have the YouTube channel, I have no other way to get in contact with you other than methods like that. So, uh, and also I do post updates in there that aren't in videos. So it might be worth it just to go, uh, go check those things out. So thanks for watching. I really guys hope you, uh, hope you are happy as I am to have the channel back. Let me know in the comments, uh, what you guys think and what you want to see going forward on the channel. Of course, you're going to be getting scrap mechanic. Of course, you're going to be getting more brick rigs and stuff and some multiplayer Monday and all that going on. Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. Um, it's been a month. So, um, Maybe it's time to maybe it's time to, to have a little fun and do some experimentation. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.